Hello everyone, welcome back to another Lesson from the Bible with me, Pastor Doug. What makes you special? How would you describe yourself? You know, God has made each one of us unique. We have gifts, abilities, talents, and a plan for our life. Whether we realize it or not, we have tremendous value because God made us. We were created in His image. <laughs> That's what we're talking about today. Let's take a look at our main point. I was made by God. Good job. Parents, teachers, don't forget that you can go to faithville.com to download free resources for today's lesson. But the greatest resource is something you already have. Invite the Holy Spirit to help you as you teach and train your kids. All right, everyone, let's get started. Dusty, what's going on here? Oh, hi Doug. Well, I'm just working on a new and improved Dusty. The new and improved Dusty, huh? Okay, what's the matter with the old Dusty? I mean, the current Dusty. <laughs> well, it's all right there in that uh, magazine I picked up. The old Dusty's just not going to cut it anymore. You're Not Enough by Lucy Fur. <laughs> Where did you pick this up? Well, that's not important. Here's what's important. Check these out. There are just some ideas of what the new and improved Dusty could be. See that one right there? That's cool, Dusty. Uh huh. That's, that's like one option. And then, uh, oh, here's a uh, smart Dusty. Now, I'm already pretty smart, but this would be like genius smart. You know, like smart Dusty. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. There's wealthy Dusty. Uh huh. Uh huh. And Musty Dusty. That's got to be one of my favorites. See, because uh, Musty Dusty's where I go in the backyard and roll in as many stinky things as I can find. <laughs> yeah, I do think you'd be good at that one. Yeah, but I was actually having a really hard time deciding, so that's when I thought, why not just combine them all? Flip the page there for me, Doug. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's quite the image. <laughs> I know, right? I bet it'll look even better in real life. Mm -hmm. But Dusty, I mean, are you sure you need all of these changes? I kind of liked the old Dusty. Well, what about everyone else, though? They probably think I'm boring. Boring old Dusty. Well, maybe I should even change my name. I've got a lot of thinking to do. Bye, Doug. Okay, see you later. Uh, kids, what do you think? Should Dusty change so that people like it more? You know, sometimes we may feel like we aren't enough. Maybe we even feel like we aren't that valuable or special. Well, it's true that sometimes we feel that way, but the Bible says something altogether different. We are valuable. God created us in his own image, and that makes us very special indeed. I'm gonna head over to the Bible story and I'll catch up with you in a little bit, okay? All right. Hello everyone, it's time to play Picture Pixel Puzzle. Correctly guess the image before it comes into focus. Ready? Go! If you said a baby, you're correct. Scripture tells us that God knit us together in our mother's womb. 
Even before our first day, God knew us and loved us. Thanks for playing Picture Pixel Puzzle. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Oh, hi there. It's time for our Bible story. You know, God created the heavens and the earth. And everything that we see, hear, taste, touch, smell comes from God. But of all the things that God created, people alone are special because we are made in his image. <laughs> you can find the story in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis, starting in chapters 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was dark and water covered the ground. The Spirit of God hovered over the water. God said, let there be light. And there was light. He separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. That was day one. Then God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. The huge space he called sky, and it separated the waters above from the waters below. That was day two. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered in one place. Let dry ground appear. God called the dry ground land. He called the waters oceans. Then God created plants and trees, each having their own seeds. God saw that it was good. That was day three. God said, let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. Let them separate the day from the night. The sun, moon, and stars were all made. God saw that it was good. That was day four. God said, let the waters be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of the sky. So God created every living thing in the ocean and in the sky. He said, have little ones and increase your numbers. God saw that it was good. That was day five. Then God said, let the land produce all kinds of living creatures. So the land was filled with all kinds of animals. Then God said, let us make man in our own likeness. So God created man in his own image, male and female, he created them. He blessed them saying, have children and increase your numbers. God saw everything he made and it was very good. That was day six. On the seventh day, God rested. He blessed this day and made it holy. God is the creator, but he hasn't stopped creating. Everyone born into the world today is still born in his image. The Bible says that each one of us is God's workmanship. King David wrote in Psalm 139, Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know when I go out to work and when I come back home. You know exactly how I live. Lord, even before I speak a word, you know all about it. You created the deepest parts of my being. You put me together inside my mother's body. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that full well. None of my bones was hidden from you when you made me inside my mother's body. The place was as dark as the deepest parts of the earth. When you were putting me together there, your eyes saw my body even before it was formed. You planned how many days I would live. You wrote down the number of them in your book before I had lived through even one of them. God, your thoughts about me are priceless. No one can possibly add them all up. If I could count them, they would be more than the grains of sand. And David was right. God knows us intimately and personally because he created us. Boys and girls, remember, you are God's precious child, loved by him very much. Let's say our main point one more time. I am made in God's image. Good job. All right, everyone. It's time to play 8-Bit Game Bit. Stand up on your feet to jump, duck, and hit your way to the finish in this virtual reality game.
Here we go. Dusty! Dusty! Duck, reinventing myself is hard. Plus, even if I did find a new identity, that one's gonna get old too. And then I have to create a new one, and 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 a new one. Will I ever be enough? Dusty, you don't have to reinvent yourself. Really? Really? Wow, that's a relief. To tell you the truth, I didn't like some of those ideas. Bring it in, buddy. Ah. Oof. You know, there is one thing we could do to freshen you up a bit. Oh, no, no, no. Not the bath. Just a quick rinse. You said I was good just the way I am. I'll let you bring a toy. Uh, I think I hear someone calling me. I mean, I just remembered where I left my bone. I mean, bye, kids. Dusty, you are having a bath. Hey, kids. My name is Sierra, and today I will be showing you how to make these amazing leaf people. To get started, you're going to want to gather all of your supplies. Some googly eyes, glue, paper, any kind will do, but I'm using colored, and a marker. Oh, also, some leaves from outside. The fall is perfect for gathering all sorts of different colors. All right, let's get started. First, grab all the leaves that you're going to be using to make your character. I think I'll use the bigger leaves for the head and the body and smaller ones for the arms and legs. Once you're happy with where all your leaves are placed, you can go ahead and glue those down. Make sure to not use too much glue, just a little around the edges will do. Now you can go ahead and add some googly eyes and a marker to draw a little smile to really bring it to life. I'm using some pink googly eyes for the head and don't forget to glue googly eyes down. And there you have it, a well thought out leaf person. Just like God took the time in making you. He even knows the amount of hairs that you have on your head, every single one. I just wanna thank you guys for making this craft with me. I would love to see what you guys made. You can ask your parents to take you to faithville.com and send us a message there. Bye. You know, just like you guys created those leaf people, God created us. The Bible says that we are his workmanship. And as impressive as those leaf people were, nothing comes close to how impressively God made us. Did you know that we each have over 206 bones? Yeah, and 600 muscles. And we have thousands of hairs. Not only that, we create 25 million cells every second. <laughs> we have billions of nerves and trillions of good bacteria in our bodies. Our bodies are amazing. If you stretched out our blood vessels from end to end, they would wrap around the entire world two times. Wow. This all reminds me of a verse from the Bible. And you know what that means. It's time for the Go Get Your Bible Dance. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible, go get your Bible, Bible, Bible. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible, go get your Bible, Bible, Bible. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible, go get your Bible, Bible, Bible. Okay, take it away, trusty. Thanks, Doug. Our Bible verse today comes from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Let's look it up together. 
find the book of Ephesians, we need to go to the New Testament. Then, find the big number 2, that's chapter 2, and the little number 10, that's verse 10. It says, We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. God made all of us. In Jesus, we can find our true identity as God's beloved children. As part of God's family, we can learn to live as God planned for us to live, doing good things in His good creation. Just stop and think about it. Jesus loves you and he loves me too. Just stop and think about it. Jesus loves you and he loves me too. Yes, God gave his son for me. Oh, he died for me and you. Oh, God gave his son for me. show at the end of this lesson that asks, what did we learn today? <laughs> now, allow me to introduce our contestants. We have Liam and crew. Hi. Welcome to the show, boys. Tell me, what's your favorite type of candy? Mine, uh, mine, mine is an alpha candy. <laughs> All right. We're so glad to have you with us. But we need to ask you our quizzical question. Here it comes. Why does a person have value? Is it because A, they wear cool clothes, B, they're popular at school, C, they're made in the image of God, or D, they like pineapples on pizza? Thinking. Considering. C, they're made in the image of God. C, they're made in the image of God? Judges? That's correct! Ha <laughs> ha, we have some winners. Thanks for playing, boys. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the What Did We Learn Today game show. We'll see you next time. If you would like to participate in the What Did We Learn Today game show, head over to faithful.com and send us a message. All right, welcome back. We're almost done today's lesson, but I wanted to finish with a sort of illustration. Do you know what this is? <laughs> You're right, it's a coin. This is actually one dollar or 100 cents. Where I'm from, we call them loonies, which is kind of a funny name, I know. But as I said, it's one dollar, 100 cents. That is the value of this coin. But what if I were to 
get it dirty. <laughs> I mean, really dirty. What if I were to put it down in this slime and get it all slimed up? Oh, yuck. Oh, yee. Would the value of this coin change? <laughs> You're right. Actually, it wouldn't. It doesn't really matter how dirty or tarnished this coin will ever get. The value will still be the same. 100 cents, one dollar. What about if I buried it away where nobody could see it, planted it deep down in the dirt like a seed? Has that changed its value? No, it hasn't. The coin has still the same value, one dollar, 100 cents. Even hiding it away didn't change it. All right, what about this last one? What if we were to just make it one of many coins? What about that? Has that changed the value of our coin? Right again, it's still one dollar. It doesn't matter if it's dirty. It doesn't matter if it's hidden away. It doesn't even matter if it's just one of many. Nothing is going to change the value of this coin. You and I are sort of similar. You see, in God's eyes, nothing is going to change our value. It doesn't matter how soiled we may get from the stain and ugliness of sin. It doesn't matter if we try and hide ourselves away from him or from others. It doesn't matter if we feel like we are just one of many, many people. We are still valuable to God. In fact, we're far more valuable than a single coin. God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, who lived and died for us. Wow, Jesus died for us. That's a tremendous value. All right, boys and girls, that wraps up our lesson. Why don't you bow your heads with me? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you created us and made us in your image. I pray that we would remember that, especially when we're feeling a little down on ourselves. Help us to know how much we are loved by you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.